And it's going to be a very subtle inhale and just speak on the exhale. So it's not a full speak. And my greatest strength is when you're in a job interview or giving a presentation or really speaking in general, breathe. When the other person is asking the question in a job interview, for example, I want you to breathe when their mouth is moving. And before you speak, inhale through your mouth. This is for any situation. What a lot of people do is either they don't breathe or, which causes a ton of anxiety and from a language perspective, it makes it really hard for you to communicate clearly in English um, because you have oxygen deprivation, so it's hard to focus on anything other than survival. (laughs) So what you wanna do is, instead of breathing through your nose, which can be loud or it can take an extra second, you wanna inhale through your mouth. And I don't mean, very subtle. So if the person tells you, what's your greatest strength? You're like, my greatest strength is to inhale and speak on the exhale. This might sound obvious, but I want you to observe yourself in situations like meetings or even casual conversations. Notice how often you don't breathe, how often you hold your breath. And for example, for me, I notice I hold my breath when I'm posting on social media and that I realized was causing me a lot of anxiety. So I started associating social media with anxiety. And once I started regulating my breath, it really helped me be more creative, et cetera, et cetera. So for you, you might be having trouble with English or you might think I can't, you know, get my thoughts fast enough in English. When in reality, your language is good enough. Your language skills are good enough. What you want to do is help yourself by breathing more regularly. And it's going to be a very subtle inhale and just speak on the exhale. So it's not a full speak. And my greatest strength is, and just that moment is going to remind you to also do those breathing moments or microseconds in between your responses. And that's going to help you be able to have endurance and really speak from a more personable place instead of a, what am I trying to say? What's the vocabulary? What's the word? You can focus on your experiences and sharing value.